All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kabadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and his sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures. Through faith in you, how about your mouth shot? All right, and what I want to get into, all right, today, you know, is dealing with how, you know, the leadership, you know, there's there's bad leadership in Israel that's going to lead many to ruin, okay? And what we're seeing pretty much is Jake has been exposed to still loving the way. Of the Western society above the way of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, and it's been exposed and out there, okay. And that's why, you know, Jake had his mindset to put fringes on everything, you know, but they're not being changed inwardly, you know. Fringes is an outward showing, you know. And at the end of the day, the true clothing, all right, is obedience, okay, integrity, man, you know, honesty. Okay, true brotherly love, rather, is through, you know, exhortation, all right, correction or rebuke, okay? And and what we see, you know, is things that um was going on back then, okay? And the Lord was sending the prophets to address, you know, wicked leadership, man, which we wouldn't know just before, you know? But our people think for some reason that calling out, all right, wicked leadership is hate, you know? And that's a... A mindset of Western culture to where you can't speak or correct or rebuke, all right, or there's hate, you know. Jake want to just go under the banner of being an Israelite, but now nah, there's a standard, there's a way, okay. We should be maturing, okay, in the spirit, you see. So when you go to the book of Micah, and I want to get the prologue of the book of Micah, all right. So this is a prologue of the book of Micah. It says, Michael called from his rustic, okay, which means rural. You know, he's from the country. Uh, he was from the countryside, basically. It said, Michael called from his rustic home to be a prophet, leaves his familiar surroundings to deliver a stern message of judgment to the prophets and people of Jerusalem, burdened by the abusive treatment of the poor by the rich and the influential the prophet turned his verbal rebukes upon any who would use their social or political power for personal gain. Okay? So this is nothing new that we see going on, man. Okay? And there's a lot of men that have received a lot of personal gain off the ministry, man. Okay? There's a lot of, you know, camps that have made the ministry about two or three characters, man, and not Yahweh Shai. And not the sincere, all right, edification of the body, okay? And we come to a time where we're finna, we finna see the results, okay, of bad leadership, man, okay? We, we finna see that, and Lord will, you know, we endure within the right way, man, because none of us has made it yet, man, okay? But we're doing what our forefathers were doing when the Lord would send them to address certain things that was going on that was off, man. You know, and we're not above correction, man. We get corrected when we're off, man. You know, whether openly, okay, off camera or whatever, man. You know, correction is always going forth for the betterment of the body, man. Okay, but black culture tells you that it's hate, man. But you see, the Lord sent prophets, okay, to address particular matters, all right, within, all right, the nation, man. That's how the Lord gets down, okay? Now, so when you go to Micah, all right, chapter one. Okay, when you go to the book of Michael, chapter one, I get it here, so I can have the NLT, you know, go in parallel with it. So this is the book of Michael, chapter one. Okay, verse, verse three. It said, "Now this is Michael speaking, you know, to the leadership." <laughs> okay, and it says, "Um, Michael one and three it says." For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place and will come down and tread upon the high places 
of the earth, and the mountain shall be molten under under him, and the valley shall be cliff as wax before the fire, as the waters that are poured down a steep place. For the transgression of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And where are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? So what is the Lord addressing through Micah? The leadership. Okay, when you read in the NLT, it says, and why is this happening? Because of the rebellion of Israel. Yes, the sins of the whole nations. Who is the blame for Israel's rebellion? Samaria, its capital city, which is the capital of the northern kingdom. Okay, the northern tribes. Where is the center of idolatry in Judah? In Jerusalem, its capital. So the Lord was addressing the leadership for the rebellion of the nation, man. Okay? Because the, it's, it's the, like we see, it's the, all it is is two or three characters of these counts that off, you know, that the masses are following within this rebellion, which their blood is going to be on them for following them. But the leaders, okay, the blood of the people is going to be on them, man. Which the Lord, hey, it's levels to judgment, man. You know, it's a lot of Jake playing the dangerous game, man. And we pray that we never go to the dark side, man, and get too proud, you know, get too full of ourselves, man. You know? <laughs> so going from there, let's get this in um the book of Hosea, okay? The prophets will always go out in the spirit, you know, of correction. You see? When you go to um, Hosea chapter 5, okay? Now, when you read the, the, the title of this chapter, okay? Now, on the, on the, on the KJV, the King James, it says, The people apostasy rebuked, okay? And then it goes in, in one NLT. It says the failure of Israel's leaders. Okay? The Bible addresses leadership first, man. Any organization, okay? <laughs> you know, when they when they have to send someone in to correct things, where are they going to start? They're going to start at, at the leadership role and work down. Okay? The Lord, that's how he operates, man. He always works from the leaders on down. And that's why... You know, as a leader, man, like this is, <laughs> hey, this is a, uh, uh, this is a, a position of great responsibility. You know, there's nothing to be taken uh, likely. We're not here to be pampered by the masses. No, we're responsible, okay, for the guidance of the sheep. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai is holding the leaders of Israel responsible for the guidance of his sheep, man. Okay? But at the end of the day, the, hey, how Shai has his men that's going to lead his sheep. And then, hey, two-thirds got their leaders too, man. All right? We're just addressing these things so we can see the difference, man. Okay? Because there's, you know, Jake want to push this like, we all Israel. Like, nah. There's the Israel of the Most High, man. Okay? There's the elect. And then there's the non-elect, man. And behavior are the tokens of the elect and the non-elect, man. Okay, and we address these things. All right, this Hosea 5 and 2, and it says, And the revolters are profound to make slaughter, though I have been a rebuker of them all. I know Ephraim, okay, and Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. They will not frame, all right, they will not frame their doings to turn unto their power. For the spirit of whoredom is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai. And see, there's a lot of people that know that they're Israelites because I'm dressing within Israel. Because remember, they knew they was Israelites back then. Okay? But guess what you still have in Israel? You still have a lot of self-worship. Okay? You still have a lot of rebellion, women out of order. All right? They know that they Israelites. Okay? You still have men out of order, okay, no integrity, okay, just, you know, the, the, the self, the self worship is still heavy within Israel, which is idolatry, man, 
Okay? So just as those things was going on back then, they're going on now within the circumcision. Those that know that they're Israelites, man. Okay? Israel, do you know you're Israelite, but their mindset is still full of whoredom, man. A mindset of idolatry, man. Okay? To where you think your opinion overrides everything. Overrides facts. Overrides order. Overrides all right, uh, 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 the truth. Okay? <laughs> Bearing false witness. You see, false prophecy is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a serious offense according to the law, man. You see, and the Lord's finna start making judgments because everybody wants to say law, law, law. Well, the Lord's finna start judging according to this law that everybody, you know, uh, 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 glories in. Okay, which we love the law. We can't wait till the earth is established under the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? But we understand the balance of grace within our captivity, man. <laughs> okay? Now, um, keep going. Uh, let's go from there. And let's get um first Peter. Well, let's get Ezekiel first. Okay? Because we always get it. You know, but I just want to expound on it from the aspect of the leadership okay this is ezekiel 9 and 4 it says and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of jerusalem and set a mark upon the heads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst of man okay and the end of the day the number one complaint you know should be about esau edom and how this man running the earth man okay <laughs> you know, you have a lot of Israelites, their only motivation to do videos, all right, is for contention, all right, is to be seen, is to, you know, clickbait, okay, to the, the back and forth, and, you know, another chance to be disrespectful, another chance for a ooh, a ooh moment, try to wow the crowd, okay, instead of the, the, the main thing is we're under the, 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 the rulership of Esau Edom, man. That should be the main cry in the earth, man, and what this devil is doing, man, and what he's planning on doing, you know, <laughs> being a watchman, you see, and it says, and the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. See, the Lord is going to show you, okay, the eastern way of judging, man. Okay, and it's going to get very gruesome, man, and the people that he's going to judge, you know, we're going to be like, damn, you know, and that's it, we pray that we're not a part of it, man, you know, we pray that pride doesn't creep in, you know, <laughs> and take us over, man, you see, and we'll be subjugated to that judgment, man, okay, <laughs> so keep going, it says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man whom is the mark, all right, which is their spiritual mark, the Thawa, okay, which is the mark of exemption. And it says, and begin at my sanctuary, okay, what are you talking about, the temple? It said, then they begin, okay, at the ancient men, which were before the house, okay? And this is the Lord giving orders to a deaf angel, man. Okay, because you read the previous chapter, what was Jake doing? They were secretly worshiping Tammuz, worshiping the sun. Okay, and it's going to come to pass, man. Like, there's a lot of these, you know, guys that, you know, Jake look up to and idolize. You know, hey, it's going to be some surprises when we find out what these men were really into behind the scene, man. Okay, because, hey, there's nothing new under the sun, man. <laughs> you know? There's, hey, there's some jakes out there, man, and, 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 you know, Israel is blindly following these men, you know, which everything is set up, okay? But I said, we just here, all right, hey, to, to, to defer between the two, okay? But, hey, the Lord was showing Ezekiel some things that the leaders were doing in the dark, man, okay? And he kept showing them things, and it was getting worse and worse. So now, in the ninth chapter, he like, look, now I'm finna send hits, man. 
<laughs> okay? Now I'm finna start at the at the temple. Okay, the leaders. Okay? And it says, and he said unto them, defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew in the city. Okay? <laughs> the Lord it had enough. And this is what we're here saying, like, because the main message is, no, you wrong. <laughs> okay? Chill. Okay, before this happens. <laughs> you see, that's the main message. That's why when we go into these videos, we go into the doctrine aspect of how you're wrong, man. Okay? <laughs> the, the, what, the, 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 the what you're pushing out is off, man. Rebellion. Okay? Like I say, disorder. You <laughs> know, integrity. You see? You know, pushing, you know, slander. You see? <laughs> There's, there's going to be judgment for these things, man. And see, this social media, you know, generation has detached people from judgment from their actions because you can get on there and say and do anything pretty much, you know, and there's no immediate judgment. Okay. This society has detached people from judgment. Everybody pretty much wilding. But see, the Lord is allowing people Okay, to just wild out, man, and that judgment is building, man. You know, that's why the scriptures always tell us to do what? Take heed to ourselves. We got to constantly take heed to ourselves, man. It's continually, you know, examining, okay? And, re, you know, making adjustments, okay? Because, hey, this is a society where you can easily, you know, get pulled to the left, man, and get over, overwhelmed, overcome, Okay? Now let's go from there. Let's get this in um Isaiah. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 10. All right, verse 5. It says, O Syrian, the ride of my anger. And the staff in their hand is my indignation. Okay? So, going back to during this time period, you know, the Lord had raised up the Syrians, you know, against the northern kingdom. Okay? On the Shah of Manasseh the fifth, all right, to pretty much besiege Assyria, I mean, besiege, you know, uh, Samaria. Okay? All right? And take it and take the northern kingdoms captive, man. You know? But the Lord's anger was roused up. Why? Okay, he's going to go into it. It says, I will send them against a hypocritical nation, against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? And Esau is a modern day of Syria, man. <laughs> okay? And Jacob is playing a dangerous game, all right, <laughs> within this role you know, of pride and ego, you see, which is causing them to fall in the category of, of bad leadership, horrible leadership, man, you know, <laughs> you're not saying that we're perfect, you know, but the thing is, we want to make sure, all right, that we're tending to the sheep, okay, in a particular manner, man, being careful how we build, okay, being considerate, okay, of our actions or how it can affect other people. I what we teach, how we say things, how can it affect? What type of ripple effect could they have, man? Okay, <laughs> it, you know, because the main thing is being considerate, man. Okay, <laughs> we you know like we just got it made. We got it. No man, we're we'll just coming. We come in the spirit of your house shot. We're mimicking your house shot. As long as we stay within the protocol of Yahweh Shai, then we're doing it the right way, man. Okay? We're following that order of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And you have to ask yourself, will Yahweh Shai be pushing, okay, a, a, a reality show? Okay? Will Yahweh Shai be, be rapping and pushing it, you know, <laughs> marketing mixtapes? Will Yahweh Shai be on the flyer? Okay? <laughs> would, he, would he be doing these things, man? Will he be bearing false witness and slander? Okay. Will he be trying to, you know, demonize, 
Okay, because it says a hypocritical nation. Here it is. These they call itself Hebrew Israelites. Okay. But then when it come to the protocol, okay, for grape, <laughs> you see, they act as if, you know, the apostle took a piece of notebook paper and wrote their protocol and put it in the Bible, you know, and had it, <laughs> you know, mass produced in the earth, man. Okay. Before anybody that was in the ministry was ever born, them, that protocol was there, man. Okay. <laughs> How else are we supposed to explain this? If someone asks a question about that, someone's reading the Bible for themselves, a brother reading the Bible for themselves, and he has a question about that, how how do we explain that? Okay? But here it is. They'll make it seem as if, you know, we're monsters for just going through the protocol. You know? There's never been, you know, a, 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 a order to go do that or a recommendation to go do that, man. Okay, but going back to a hypocritical nation, they claim the law, the law, the law. Okay, they claim, you know, to just be these uh, uh, <laughs> gurus of the scriptures, you know. But then when something in the Bible doesn't fit with Western culture, you know, then you try to demonize it and make it seem as we're monsters for even talking about it, man. That's hypocritical, man. Okay. <laughs> Well, the Lord, hey, he raised, he rose up a whole nation because of the, the, the hypocritical leadership of Israel, man, which made the masses hypocritical, man. Okay? So there's an end game to bad leadership, and it ends bad, man. Okay? And we when we say these things, hey, for the hope of those, you know, that are amongst those that Yahweh Shah is going to draw out, man. Okay? <laughs> I was like, we, we, hey, we here for the, the sheep, man, you know, and this is the form of beating the beast off the sheep, you know, as King David was doing, man, okay, <laughs> so Lord will, you know, you brothers, and you few so edified to the next time I say Shalom, call me out Shalom, Bible, Bible, DTA, soon Shalom.